Hi, uh, this video is all about learning the steps to create data source. Now, data source can be created in Word, it can be created in Excel, and it can also be done while you do the process of mail merging. So, if you check the list of videos, um, there are three videos linked to mail merging. So, one is to create letters, one is to clear, create labels, and the other one is to create envelopes. Now, for doing all the theme, for creating envelopes, labels, and letters, data source is very essential. So, to complete a mail merge process, data source becomes an essential component. So, in this video, we'll be learning how to create a data source in Microsoft Word. Okay, so for creating the data source in Word, first what you have to do is click on Microsoft Word, open the Word application. Okay, open a blank document. Now, the most essential part or the most important part of creating a data source in Microsoft Word is to make it inside a table. Okay, so once you start your Word application in the blank area, make sure that your cursor in the, is in the beginning. Okay, and then go to insert table. You can choose six columns and let's say nine to 10 rows. Okay, depending upon the number of records that you have. Okay, now the most important part here is like while you create the table, make sure the table is in the beginning. Okay, it should not happen that you know you press and enter and then you create the table. That would be wrong. It should you should not have a blank blinking line above the table. That's a very, very important part. That is while you are trying to merge this data source with the mail merge. Uh, process it will lead to an error so it becomes very essential that when you create the data source there should be no cursor before your table so i'm choosing six columns and nine to uh, ten rows okay and you can start typing so let's say title then you have first name then you have surname address one down postal code and so on and then you can actually fill it up with the records that you want so i'll just try to fill in with a few records that i want okay so as per your requirement you can put up the headings for the table and then you can fill it up with the records that you want and once you finish it just save it in the required location so let's say data source okay in word and let me get stored and this data source now you can use it while you are doing the mail merge process so i hope you understood how to create a data source in microsoft word the next video will be relating to how a data source can be created in excel so those who have been subscribed please subscribe so you get timely notification of the videos that has been uploaded thank you